So on a quick family vacation, my wife and I took our kids to South Dakota to see Mount Rushmore. And while there, we stopped by Bear Country, USA, which just outside of, of kind of the area around Mount Rushmore. Now, when we pulled up to Bear Country, which you should definitely visit, it's a place where you can just drive in your car and there are bears just wandering around. While we were pulling in, they stopped us at the front gate and said, how many people are in your car? That's how they charge is by the number of people in the car. Well, my wife and I, two adults, and my two daughters. So they said, all right, two adults, two kids. Let me write that down. Two adults, two kids. That's $70. So after we drove around, you can see I got my picture here. This was a bear playing in the pool. He was splashing himself and everything. Kind of fun to see. After we got out, I said to my kids, all right, if two adults and two kids cost $70, then how much was each adult and kid ticket? Now, after a few minutes, they started to think. They said, well, it would make sense that a, an adult ticket was maybe 20 and maybe a kid ticket was 15 That'd be 20 and 20 and 15 and 15 That would add up to $70. And I said, but couldn't it be 25 and 10 25 and 25 and 10 and 10 also equals 70. And they said, yeah, that's true. We don't know. We don't know how much a ticket is. And I said, well, let's say that right after us, another car pulled in. And that car had just one adult and one kid. I said, how much would that car be paying? And they thought about it for a second. They said, well, it would make sense. They got half the amount of People, one adult, one kid, be $35. I said, I think you're absolutely right. Now how much does each adult and kid pay? And again, right away they thought, well, 25 and, or excuse me, 20 and 15 makes sense. $20 and 15 add up to 35. And again, I said, well, why couldn't it be 25 and 10? So they were kind of stumped at this point because it seems like you could come up with a ton of answers that would work. And in fact, you can. You could come up with many answers. Now, theoretically, an infinite number of answers, but of course, you're not including negative numbers, and it is a payment, so you can only go so far in terms of dollars and cents. But why this didn't help them was it's the same proportion. We had half the number of adults and half the number of kids. This represents basically two versions of the same thing. So then I said, well, what if the car after us instead had two adults and three kids, and it costs $85. And that's when they said, okay, now we know that one additional kid costs an additional $15, so one kid is 15, which makes the adult have to be 20. And that's the idea behind systems of equations. When we solve systems of equations in algebra, we're trying to figure out uh, how much each variable is worth, and we need two sets of equations to make it work. And what the added thing is, those equations can't be proportionally related to each other. My one adult, one kid for 35, that was just a different multiplied scenario of the same thing, whereas this actually had a different proportion. Now, there are lots of different ways we could have figured this out, lots of different mixes, but the important thing, it couldn't just be some scale thing. I couldn't have come through with a minivan and said there are four adults, four kids, that's 140. That wouldn't have helped me. I needed a, a situation that wasn't just some multiple of my original situation. That's what we're talking about when we do systems of equations. We need two equations and they have to have something that differentiates them from each other so they're not like a scaled version. I'm going to show you more ways to solve those coming up. I just thought this was kind of a fun example that we discussed in the car. I know that sounds fun. After seeing Bear Country. If this helps you think about systems, please like and subscribe for more math videos.